This is Wayne Troy Kids and I am back here with the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, I know it's just gonna be me, but Lady had bit gotten a little busy today. You know, with work and so, so you'll just have me. Now, for this I am going to be cutting it into 30 minutes. So there's gonna be two videos. So I'm gonna do 30 minutes when I first start this. And that would be the first part, which will premiere Tuesday. And the next other 30 minutes of that next part is going to be posted on Thursday. Due to because me and Lady are planning to fam record more of this on Wednesday. But in case she can't do it, at least y'all got some more content. So I can feed my children. My dragonlings, whatever you want to call yourselves, I don't care. So let's get on to the game. And don't worry, I'm gonna still do the voices. I, uh, I can do an Amy, I think. But Rouge, I don't. And Blaze, I have no idea. We'll just have to work what we can work with. So we're at the saloon. Starting timer. Whoa! Look at this place! Amy, Amy, are you here? Hey, Tails, where are we? Where are you? Sammy, I'm over here! I think Amy has already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um. Yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hooked? <laughs> that was horrible. He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just really, all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange places. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? It's my job to keep an eye on you. Yeah. The train rules say I gotta stay and watch after everyone. You just want to tag to hang out with me, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. How is everyone great at reading people but me? As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking gloom, ever, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the do evil Dr. Eggman. No, not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Ye vom Ye vomits? What are ye, ye all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles! We're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic! I can see that. Amy mostly through and told me all about it. Enough of that. Not. Nah. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were look wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. I have to have two bottles of water to switch these voices. My god. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Sammy, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues, and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Okay, so, um... Oh, we get more. Okay. Oh, hey! Hi, partners! Spittoon-free establishment. I can believe that. 
I mean, they're on a train, and they really shouldn't, you know. Because, I mean, is there a sink? There should, there should be a sink. I mean, there's a bar. There should always be a sink. I've seen Ball Rescue. There has to be one. Visit Coliseum Highway Zone. <gasps> I just want to put out Howdy Barnes. Those robotic arms are really helpful. And... Blink. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible! What interesting tech. Uh-oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? Ah, uh, that's funny. Door's locked tight. We can't go any further. I wonder how any was able to leave then. Good point. When were these doors locked and how long were they locked for? I have to keep this in mind. Okay, so it would be nuts. I mean, no, nuts! Peanuts! Ah, the bowl of sorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kinda bland. Uh, seems like someone licked all the salt off of me. What ever happened? <coughs> or maybe they're just unsalted. <laughs> Sammy, this is interesting. What is it? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? Sammy, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Used cups are added to your inventory. Something's always hidden in the trash. <laughs> Let's check here. Sadly, this is this one is empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Ha <laughs> ha! I think Tails is ignoring me. Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Oh, hey, Sega game! Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damage looks more to be caused from punches. We c who could have done that? Claire's. <laughs> what are you two looking at? At me for? Smashed arcade is added to your inventory. I think we've ha we've found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Oh look! Worth taking view. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters though. I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the courts. I'll never understand this frankly. Oh! Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Amo Chow. Hate to see them like this. What'd they do? Medical malpractice. Interesting. Nothing? Nothing else? Okay. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. Hmm. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave. Uh, first, can I take your order? Hmm, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure, like a butter of sorts. Butler of sorts, right? Come on, Sammy, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it. Thought I told you to leave me alone. 
Let's talk now. What now? Please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles. Knuckles would you ever fight me? No. You bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too. Guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'll fight you. Sorry, Sammy. I wish I you luck. It's not actually going to fight me, right? Start interrogation. Knuckles, Sammy and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Ugh. It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Sammy, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Sammy, let's try again. What could have been distracting Knuckles? Um, ladies, what help? The arcade machine? Ha! Huh. What makes you think I touched it? Oi, right, Sammy's dream gear. Do this. Oh! Lady would be so proud of me. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. I need drink. This is a lot of voice changing for one person, so give me one moment. Mm. This is why the water's here. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because you're Super Monkey Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game. The arcade cabinet is covered in punches. Your hair was found at the scene. The arcade was covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damage or damages or punches? Really? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you? I'm on it! Sammy, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball! Bring it on! Alright! Let's do this! Come on, dragon! I did it! My ADHD and autism rules. It helps me at the best times. The arcade machine is fixed! No, don't look at the scores! Quick, look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now! Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Hmm. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. Oh, that ain't that cute. Blush. And in frustration, you destroy the arcade machine. Arcade cabinet. Crah. He's punching there in frustration. You're guessing. Well, you're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector is a common name. Prove to me he was here now. All right. Let's do this. Oh no! Oh no, 
ton of rings. Okay, okay. You have nothing, Zilch. Not a now. Leave you two. Quick, Sammy. Let's try this again. so proud of me. I can't wait for her to see this. <clears throat> Let's do this. Now, Sammy, what pose back to with you here with Knuckles? Use cups. No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be practicing in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. Yes, it's, um, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, uh, don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour, wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth, trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine, no proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came along, came in honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story in Alibi and Alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. What of the cup with the lipstick more? Ugh. Rouge was here too. It's unconsensual, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something, failed, made fun of our game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Um, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited the game, play game to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, then Knuckles destroyed the, the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our que- Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I wanted to, to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high school list. Does it make sense? Sammy, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high school list. What is it? Is Tio's talking about? Oh! Candy, bread, apple, toast, so vector knuckle. Ultimate. Shadow. All the other names have a food theme, but this one? Who here goes by Ultimate? You may not know, Simi, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The Ultimate Life Form. Shut up! My favorite. There's really someone here that goes by that. Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the school, but Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately at the- <coughs> Shoot. Excuse me. Sugars and spice. Mm, sorry. Wait, where did my timer go? Oh, never mind. There it is. It didn't show on my phone. I was wondering what was going on. Uh, yep, there it is. <clears throat> Alright. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? 
excuse me. No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me, even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. Woo! We did it! More inf information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles, will only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever Kato, Sonic, and uh, Earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Sammy, let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Sammy! Coming! Oh, that's everything. Ready to mosey down to the next car? You got it, partner. Onwards! The lady's gonna be so mad. I, <laughs> Shinnecos is one of her favorites. Meaning, I knew she would love to do the voice. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is gonna be big. Alright. Hmm, let me see here. Alright. Shinna, mosey on through. Get this rolling. This video has nine more minutes. And then wherever we end up at, just be reminded where we end up, you know, I'll stop and go on through with the other video. Alright, let's do this. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Excuse me. Alright, I've been ready for this. Uh, everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Alrighty, before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm, Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Jesus, now I'm doing like five. They found any leads yet? Want to join us in finding clues? Flattery, but at the pace you two are going, Sonic's murderer would never get found. I think my Amy Rose voice sucks, but I will let y'all decide. <clears throat> oh, she's confident. She must have something up her sleeve. This tip is just so too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you and quick. But how are you, but how are you gonna leave the door to the next car is locked? Oh, you doubt the birthday girl. The birthday girl has a master key. Yeah, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's, of course, it's birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the... Uh, mm. Let me get my tail's voice. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh, just making sure things go well. Here to ask if any- <laughs> Making sure things go well. Mm. Things aren't going great. Not sure if we've got- if you've forgotten, but there was a murderer. Well, I mean, besides that. 
Besides murder. Uh, my social skill is non-existent. <laughs> I'm Vector, the butcher, unlicensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to eater meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure, uh, teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la la, dee 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 dee. Oh, okay. Yeah, my god, it's the chows! Oh my god, that one's my favorite. That is so adorable. Like, are there stuffed animals of these chows anywhere I can buy them? Oh my gosh. They're so freaking adorable. I mean, you gotta love the design. And it makes me wonder, are they going to be in part of a Sonic game down the line? Or are they not? Because I don't remember them being in a Sonic game. Um, I do only remember... Excuse me. Only remember them in... No, well, yeah, this is the only time I remember them. I never really seen them. Okay. Continue on! <clears> hmm. <throat> Was that it? Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm, uh, satisfied for now, thanks! At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Sammy and I... <coughs> 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 Excuse me. It's really doing a number on my throat. Sammy and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure. It's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. <laughs> when we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through the library car. When Amy told me and Espio to stay, I promptly picked up. Oh, it's Espio. I promptly picked up a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? We happened to see your lipstick stand on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. Excuse me. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! At the bushel stand over there. But she left back at the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. Oh wow, so we've already done this area. Oh. Alright. <clears throat> oh, so it's SPO. After we left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess we walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him. And then we turned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. Oh! So sh I've- okay. I'm understanding. So, they were here with him. Shadow already walked through, but as we remember, Knuckles had a key. Knuckles, you must have used the key to let them through. I think. Then we're turning that. Yeah, so that's where they were meant to be stationed. So you probably helped the butt out. Because... Oh, excuse me. Does that want to make sense? Alright. Woo! My voice. 
then returned to the lounge call where he was meant to be stationed. And when Vecto came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to Saloon Core, where we were stuck in the library core. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived, asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. Oh, and yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, it seems Vector and XBO couldn't have left the library core in the saloon core. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you like to be surrounded, serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We, n we need to confirm Vector's reasons for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library core reading. It's all to ask, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! Alright. So, this is actually where we're going to be... Oh, it stops. Right when we get there. So, this is going to be <clears throat> one video here. I'm going to leave it off for this time. I'm um, don't panic. I'm going to go ahead and upload it as soon as this one. So, we shall be good. <clears throat> so, I will see you guys in the next video on for Thursday. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, uh, give, give Lady some love on her channel as well. <clears throat> Trust me, she loves hanging out with you guys. So give her some love too. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.